Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green with Awak. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the Cinnabar Island Gym, the uh, Fire Pokemon Gym, with the leader, Blame. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, all of the uh, gym leaders do have a uh, themed name based on what their gym type is. So, uh, obviously, Blaine is based on Blaze, you know, Fiery, yada yada, stuff like that. Uh, we have Brock with literally rock in it, Misty, Mist is a form of water. Lieutenant Surge, or Surge, can be used to describe a buzz burst of electricity. You see what I mean. Oh, and then, of course, we have uh, Erica which uh, has no relevance to brass types, whatever. So, um, yeah. I suppose Koga's kind of the same. I mean, it's kind of an injury name, right? Um, uh, yeah, so the gimmick of this... Well, most gyms don't really have a gimmick. It's been um, only the last two, what with uh, the warp pads and the invisible walls. But this gym's gimmick is the Pokemon quiz that uh, does that. Can't be evolved to an afterpod. Yes, it does. Uh, but we already opened the door because we spoke to the trainer anyway. Because uh, I wanted that nice, tasty experience so that I can actually use Bubble Beam and. I might add... Wow. Tentacle's too strong, apparently. Um, okay, maybe not. It's not doing too bad. It's actually not being terrible. This uh, tentacle... 8 out of 10, would use again. Uh, let's defeat this Ninetales. And we get more XP for both of them from the Ninetales than we did from one Vulpix. Uh, nine? No, they're not. There are not nine certified gym badges, but I'm going to fight this guy anyway. Uh, I believe in this gym, some of the trainers weren't properly told what Pokemon to use, because some, I believe, use normal types. Uh, <laughs> but, um, for the most part, they do use fire types. So... At least it's not too varied. I know in the last uh, couple of gyms as well, there's been a lot of variation in what types of Pokemon the gym trainers have used. I mean, we had uh, psychic types in the poison gym and ghost types in the psychic gym. Well, technically, they were poison types in the psychic gym, so it was kind of roundabout. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've talked before about the. Uh, logic of, uh, or lack of logic in Pokemon games. But, thank god that did no damage. Uh, that's something I never remembered. Metal Claw, or rather, um, Steel types are actually, uh, not very effective against Water types. Uh, there's a, uh, another quiz here. I'm gonna do the quizzes anyway, just to show that I know my, uh, Pokemon knowledge. I wonder what I can answer here. Because uh, Poliwag is an interesting one, because it evolves into Poliwhirl, which evolves to Poliwrath, but Poliwhirl also evolves to Politoad. So technically, yes would be the right answer. But I suspect no is the right answer here. So yeah, this um, game is not accurate, shall we say. I mean, it's not even as if po Politoed isn't in this generation. I mean, okay, Politoed not technically in this game yet. I mean, it's not in the Pokedex, that's for certain. You shouldn't be able to uh, obtain it this early. but. That's not to mean it doesn't exist at all in this game. You can obtain it once you've got the National Pokedex, I believe. Oh, I forgot to do this um, Pokemon quiz. Uh, electric moves affect... No, they are not. Uh, electric moves do no damage to ground-type Pokemon. Uh, 
Uh, let's do this fast. Oh. Pokemon of the same kind of level are not identical. This is true because uh, EVs are a thing. Uh, I believe I explained what EVs were before, but I will go through them again. They are hidden stats that um, affect a Pokemon's stats. And, um, so uh, say you have attack EVs, then uh, you can't see how many of your attack EVs you have, but they will affect your actual attack stats. And you gain EVs from fighting Pokemon or by using the uh, various items like protein and iron that I have. So yeah, they're pretty um, pretty important for many people because uh, every four EVs you have increases the uh, normal stat by one. So, and it goes up to a maximum of 255 or something. So that's, what, 50 extra stat that you can get maximum, which is uh, pretty powerful. Oh, I don't want to buy anything. What I want to do is sell... Uh, this was one. Oh. No, no. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm rather tired today, so forgive me for doing derpy th things like that. Why do I keep pressing B? Oh. Yeah. Right. Let's uh, go through and find the things that we don't want. So that I can just get rid of them. Calcium, I don't want. I don't generally like EVs, and I don't e especially don't use these uh, stat boosting items. I mean, they give so much money back if you sell them that it's not worth it, really. I mean, look at this amount of money we've just made. It's a lot. Uh, HP up is similar. Let's sell the big pal for a lot of money, apparently. Uh, we don't need a water stone, and wherever the leaf stone was, we don't need that any either. So, uh, that's cleared up our inventory. You can run out of item slots in this game. I'm back. So, uh, yes, Pokemon are the same kind of level, not identical. So, EVs are making a difference. Um, and obviously, if you catch Pokemon in the wild, it have zero EVs, which is why generally it's better to catch Pokemon at low levels, so that you can get give them EVs while they're training up. Um, also, there are another type of hidden stats called IVs, which are actually set values that are set when you catch the Pokemon, or well, when you encounter each Pokemon. So, um, Tombstoney, that's not even a Pokemon move. <laughs> Sounds a bit derpy for a Pokemon move. But, um, yeah, um, IVs only go up to 31, so they're not as big an effect as EVs are, but um, there is quite a lot of demand for um, Pokemon with maxed out IVs, simply because you know, it gives them that little bit extra edge. I mean, say you have an Alakazam with uh, no IVs or EVs in its special attack, uh, versus an Alakazam with well, the max possible in um, its special attack. Um, obviously, the one with max possible is going to be really insanely powerful. I mean, the one with uh, the max possible in the special attack. It doesn't matter if the one that doesn't have any in the special attack stats has any other EVs, because um, Alexam is naturally a very strong special attacker. So yeah, that's a uh, quick go through of uh, IVs and EVs. Uh, this doesn't look to be very challenging. Bounce! Okay, right. Um, I was very puzzled at what it did use there. I thought that Ponyta had used Fly. I was like, that's not a legal move. Ponyta can't learn fly. Uh, that poison point was actually really useful because he wasted a turn. But um, yeah, a lot of Pokemon players use uh, 
legal moves to refer to the poke moves that a Pokemon should actually be allowed to learn. So, um, if you have, say, a Mewtwo with Fly or a uh, Magikarp with Hyper Beam, those are not legal move set moves for um, Pokemon. Yeah, just a little talk about the uh, words in the meta, as we call it. And to describe meta, it's a word pretty common in most um, competitive games. Basically, with meta... Oh! Uh, so we're talking to Bill here. I'll... Yeah, let's go to the uh, islands. So here we are in the Sevi Islands. Um, we are doing stuff. I believe this is where we get the National Pokedex. Either that, or we have to wait until... Uh, uh okay. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of stuff going on along. Meta! Uh, basically meaning a certain type of playstyle that um, the really competitive players... Uh, the um, people who have got level 100 Pokemon, they've beaten all the gym leaders and they're starting to fight other actual players competitively. That's, you know, their kind of playstyle. Meta is their kind of playstyle. Uh, so, uh, just to describe that, I mean, um, if you've watched my Dota 2 videos, uh, Dota 2 also has various metas. Um, uh, there's actually uh, quite a uh, popular meme to describe unusual playstyles that uh, newbie players take on as new meta. So, um, but this is Pokemon, not um, Dota 2, so I will stop talking about that here. Um, so here we are fighting some trainers. Uh, just trying to get some bit, a bit more XP for Tentacle. Um, what we are doing here is technically not part of the main game. This is uh, the Sevi Islands. Uh, it's kind of a bonus that they added in, especially for these remakes. But I felt like doing them because uh, it's quite a fun bit to do. Also that side. I forgot Venomoth was weak to confusion because of course Venomoth is using all the psychic type moves. That's the thing that I never really understood. Like, uh, Venomoth is the perfect candidate to be a uh, bug psychic Pokemon, but instead of an, just another bug poison Pokemon. I, um, I complained in the second episode, I believe it was, about how common bug, psych bug poison even is as a uh, type. Um, basically, to reiterate it, very common. And uh, I was like, um, what? As a rough estimate, a quarter of all um, bug types are bug poison. And maybe another quarter are bug flying. Like, it's really kind of annoying because there's so many. Pikachu, um, let's go back to Venomoth. Pikachu doesn't really have anything on Venomoth. Venomoth is actually really quite powerful. Uh, Stating it again, but ah, I'm doing no damage. That was a uh, lucky metronome for us, not so lucky for her. And finishing up with another Meowth. Why would you have two Meowths? At least evolve one of them to Persian. I mean, it's at that level, isn't it? Um, if you uh, want to go back and see my rant on using teams of all the same type, then. Uh, that's definitely the second episode. Add uh, some good comments on that. Uh, I am basically going to try and catch this Ponyta here uh, to finish up, not finish up, but uh, broaden my Pokedex. Come on, let's uh, quickly check our Pokedex. 45, we are actually really close to uh, the XP share. Uh, that's requiring. Really? Oh, come on, no. 
Shoo. Shoo. That. That was annoying. Um, actually, uh, tentacles gone up a lot of levels, so I'm going to use coughing from now on. Because uh, I want a wheezing. Uh, he's pretty powerful. Uh, yeah, let's go to Pikachu and hope he doesn't do anything too powerful. He did not. And just keep training up the coughing. Uh, let's use Leaf for a while. And stupid eradicate from their pursuits. Um, I feel like I just cut off my uh, run somewhere or my train of thought. But I've forgotten it to be honest. And I'm sure it wasn't that important. Yeah. Um, we've got a full team now, if you were wondering. I know it's all poison type, but uh, as I've iterated a lot of times, or said a lot of times, I want to use a full poison type team. I think it'd be a really cool uh, challenge. It has been so far. Uh, certainly uh, for the first couple of gyms where I, there were no other interesting poison types available. Ooh, I did not know it had that. Wow. That was not cool. Let's give it hit on Chan. Um, no more revives. May as well uh, revive Tentacle while we're at it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what levels are that Weezing and Tentacle will evolve at. I believe Tentacle is somewhere in the 30s, so it's not too far away. Weezing might be similar, but I believe Weezing is probably higher level. Uh, oh no! That's not good. I'm running out of Psychic. I just forgot to switch back. That didn't do all that much damage, thankfully. Uh, back to coughing. Man, we really... It would really help if we had Thundershot. Thunderbolt. Yeah. But, um... I suppose we do have a nice grass type. Ready for Leaf. Um, let's go collect the item that I spotted down there. It's a Max Repel. Wow. Max Repel. Not the most useful of items. That looks like a double battle, so I'm going to swap up these two. Yep. And whoa ho, that's a very high level pair. Uh, thankfully they're both fighting type and I've got two really good counters for fighting type. Uh, one's down and as usual with these teams they don't actually have a second Pokemon so we can take down that in really no time at all. Uh, this looks interesting. Um, is this going to be another but No, it's going to be two single battles. Which is uh, a bit awkward, but um, it's not too bad, at least. Just going to get lots and lots of XP for coughing. Read as much as I can, because... By the gods, does it take a long time to have level up these Pokemon nowadays. And by nowadays, I mean this late in the let play. I'll, I keep trying to use Psychic because it's more powerful, but I don't have the PP. Uh, Venomoth. Oh, Venomoth is almost dead again. Is there a Pokemon Center somewhere nearby? Ember, sp what? Ember Spa? You what? Uh, is this a healing area? This is a healing area, right? It's got to be a healing area. Come on. Hegemo 6. Ah, we've got Rock Smash at last. Um, that could be useful, actually. Uh, I don't believe I've actually had a fighting type move for the entire Let's Play, so... That might be really good to have, if I can teach it to something. I've got two choices, neither of which I particularly like. I mean, Leaf isn't really a physical attacker, neither is Queen. 
Ah. Uh, awkward. Uh, what can I replace? Got a lot of powerful moves, to be honest. Whoa! What? 20 power? No! Yes! I do not want to teach that to anything. That's an awful move. I didn't even know it was that bad. Wow! Um, for comparison, 20 attack power is the same as Astonish. And you saw how bad that was at the uh, start of the Let's Play. Um, but yeah, I believe my Pokemon are now all fully healed, uh, making the revives I recently used not all that useful. Um, on we go, let's fight this one girl. I guess uh, the thing about this route is that they all use fighting types. Um, does tend to be a case in uh, most of these routes, or certainly all of the late game routes. Uh, you find all the swimmers on the sea routes, you find, um, well, we found all those uh, poison type users on the um, cycling road. There were lots of uh, flying type users on the other road that we hate. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, lots of uh, patterns, I guess. Come on, trap, fight us. There we go. Army. I don't... Oh, of course, I have Leaf. I was about to say, I don't have anything to counter a Starmie. It's a Water Psychic type. So... Actually, I also had Crunch on uh, Nidoqueen. I forgot the uh, whole thing we did about leveling up Nidoqueen in the arena so that it would actually learn something good against Psychic types. Yeah. And... I think that's the first time we've ever seen anything related to the dragon type. So, um, yeah, there's, a uh, what, 17, 18 types in Pokemon? And one of them is the dragon type, and it's a very rare type. So rare, in fact, that we haven't seen it at all until now. Twister being a dragon type move. Uh, not a very powerful move, thankfully, as you saw. Yeah, that's a uh, very interesting that we haven't seen it at all. Uh, it was actually really rare in the um, original Red and Blue. I mean, there were only three types in the game that were Dragon types. And, well, they were all from the same evolution line. Uh, the Dratini, Dragonair and Dragonite. It's kind of in the name, Dragon. I mean, there were a couple of others that seemed like they should be dragon types, like um, Charizard. Everybody always thought would be dragon type, and eventually they introduced a mega evolution in Pokémon X and Y. That was that was a dragon type, and also uh, Dra Gyarados. Even everybody always thought should be a dragon type, but uh, for some reason that was Water Flying. <gasps> there we go. That was a lot earlier than I thought. But, uh, and he's learning rap again. Screw rap. Rap's a horrible move. There are a lot of really not great moves in the game. Uh, oh, explosion. Um, interesting. Oh, uh, Team Rocket grunts here. Uh, I haven't played the Sevi Islands in a long, long, long while. So, uh, to tell the truth, I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, let's use Sludge. That should be reasonably effective. The spider not actually being all that high level. Oh god. Um, may have been a mistake. Because now coughing's really low level. Low, low health. And something I like to do whenever I get put to sleep. Um, won't put you through the agony of actually listening to it because it's not a terribly interesting tune. 
but it is at least a very helpful key item. Uh, most key items in the game obviously not being useful after you've, um, well, used whatever event they were needed for. So like um, the uh, ticket for the SSN will never need again now that SSN has gone. The card keys and whatever, they'll never be used again. I mean even if we didn't have them we'd still be able to access every room in, well, every room we'd unlocked. Uh, wherever uh, those kind of things were needed. So uh, there, there are a lot of um, key items that just turn into being garbage in Pokemon. Which is, I suppose, kind of annoying for some people. Um, not actually seeing any of the uh, newer Pokemon yet. Uh, I believe this is the area where you can find... Oh no... I did a stupid... Uh, anyway... Yes, I've um, heard this is the place where you can find a lot of the second generation Pokemon. Uh, and so... Well, obviously they weren't all that accessible in these uh, games, the Pokemon from uh, Gold and Silver, because um, of the great changes between Game Boy Color and Advance. You couldn't actually transfer Pokemon, Pokemon from Pokemon Gold and Silver to the um, third generation games. God, I say it's Pokemon so much that it really didn't sound right. But, um, yeah. So they had to introduce a way to make the second generation Pokemon accessible and they did it in these islands or so I've been told. But at the moment I'm not seeing anything which is annoying. And man, coughing is still not evolving. And um, Lamoth is taking a massive pummeling. So, where are my pops? Heal up. And I did it again! Now, uh, this is the price of speeding up so much. Uh, at least it's not like a uh, complicated puzzle to get back. But, yeah. That's really annoying. Uh, I have no idea where to go in this area. Which is not fun. I do like to know where I'm going most of the time. Uh, it's why the rest of this Let's Play has been pretty smooth sailing. I mean, okay, I didn't remember every train I had against me, but at the same time I remembered enough. I did a lot of damage. Thankfully so are we. We're doing lots of damage back. No, 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 no. Haze is awful. Haze is one of the worst. No. Oh, yeah, I know Golbat can't evolve. Stupid game, stop telling me about it. Oh, okay, so that's blocked off. So what's up here? There's a item. Oh my! Come on! Go away! This is the worst part of Pokemon. When you get a random encounter you don't want, and you, they don't let you get away. That's so infuriating. Now my coughing needs to be revived. Uh, I've got a max revive and I probably would never have used it anyway. Die hit! We came all that way for a die hit. Uh, oh! Shoot! Man, that makes me so mad when I can't escape from a Pokemon battle. Look, look right there. I got away in the first attempt. I think it might be based on the speed. Ooh, this is something we don't have yet. Uh, we have the match up, but not the match out, which is uh, why I want to catch this, because I'm not going to be training up a match up anytime soon. You can actually get a match up simply by trading the uh, match out, but uh, since I can't trade on this emulator, I can't get a match up. Uh, simply how I discussed why I'm not using a uh, Ghastly and Gengar and that whole uh, bunch. Uh, they are simply not accessible to me. 
What's down here? Okay, an item. Now, I don't like having all these routes that we can go along because... Um, I like to explore everywhere. I don't like missing items or, well, trainers to battle. Uh, I think I want to push this one, and then that one, and that one, and then this one, and then a lot. Oh, um, okay, um, I'm not sure why we're here. Uh, I'm not joking now. Uh, I, I have no idea why we're here. Uh, I don't really fancy trying to take on Moltres. I mean, you saw last episode we took on Articuno and it went horribly, horribly wrong. But um, looking at the timer, I'm going to call into this episode. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, maybe in the next episode we'll try Moltres or... Certainly suck to have to go back all the way because I'm now thoroughly lost. I don't know where the route to the next place is, the next island. I thought this was it. Yeah, um, please leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next episode of Pokemon. Uh, I haven't been getting a lot of views recently on these series, so uh, please, please, please watch all of the episodes in this series, uh, I promise you they're not terrible, they're pretty good in my opinion, my humble opinion, I know I made them, but uh, yeah, please leave a like on all of them, help them get some views, help them make them popular so that I can make better content. Uh, so that's all from me, bye bye.